A few days ago, I asked you guys what you wanted to see in GTA 6, and together with your answers, we're gonna make the ultimate GTA 6 wishlist. Because if you're anything like me, you just can't wait for this game to come out. And every time I think about it, I just get really excited because when GTA 5 came out, like when I went to pick that game up when I was, what, 13 or 14? <coughs> I mean, 18, because I definitely didn't pick the game up till I was 18, because it's 18 plus. Sorry, mum, if you're watching this video. But when I got my hands on GTA 5 for the first time and played it with my friends, it was amazing. It was revolutionary. It just pretty much pushed the boundaries of everything we knew about games at the time. And GTA 6 is going to do the same thing. Undoubtedly, the map is going to be bigger. The graphics are going to be amazing. Probably more players in lobbies. We already see hundreds of players in lobbies in other games. So, man, I cannot wait. And you guys gave some pretty good answers as to what you want to see in GTA 6. So, let's get straight into them. And first up, we have Liam Donahue who says, I think you should be able to enter and interact with more buildings and houses across the map. And yeah, man, I completely agree. And we've sort of kind of already seen that in GTA 5 online over the years. Like now you can buy more properties, go in more things around the map, you know. But I understand what you're saying in terms of just sort of in free roam going into more buildings. And that would be really cool because when you think of GTA now, it's sort of, I'd say 95% of everything is outside. And adding the ability to sort of go into, I don't want to say every building because that's a stretch, but going into a lot more buildings would definitely make the game feel more real. And I guess just sort of different to previous GTA games. It'd be really cool and I think they can do it with the new technology. So that's a really good suggestion. Next up we have Matthew Degner. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. And he says, having more in-depth and meaningful businesses in both story and online. For example, in online MC businesses, being able to change between cheap and fast to produce product that requires less stock and or work, or expensive product that has a longer production time and more effort, but is more profitable. Again, yeah, I really do like that suggestion. And I sort of want to talk about businesses a bit because if they do come into GTA 6 at launch, they definitely can't stay that the way that they are in GTA 5. And again, in GTA 5, we sort of did see some improvements to this across the lifespan of the game as well. You know, we started off with the MC businesses, which everyone hates the cell missions in those, you know, driving the vans around and stuff. But then more and more businesses were added and then it's something like a nightclub now where it's always going to be one cell vehicle. It's a lot easier and honestly more fun. And what's unfortunate about businesses now is that if you're a solo grinder or even if you have friends to play with, like it's pretty much impossible for all of you to be able to run your businesses as effectively as possible, if that makes sense. Like when I'm grinding business money with one of my friends, pretty much our whole night just consists of him helping me sell my product, then me helping him sell his product, and it's just over and over. Just an idea that I'm gonna throw out there is, for example, we've already got crews in the game and I'd assume that's coming back. Why not, instead of everyone just having their own individual businesses, you know, we have a crew business. So for example, we have a cocaine lockup that's owned by the TGG crew. And every time a cell mission is done, everyone earns a uh, assigned percentage of that profit. That way it makes GTA and businesses a lot more team based. And instead of everyone just trying to kill each other, I think it might actually lead to people helping each other. Sort of like, I guess, the way the clan system works in Destiny 2. For example, in Destiny, if someone finishes a raid, even if I'm not online, I can still get some rewards from that raid because I'm in that clan. I don't know, that's just a thought, but I definitely think businesses will need to improve if they come back in GTA 6. But I do like your idea as well in terms of the cheap and, I guess, more expensive product. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how they're worked into GTA 6. Next up, we have Orange T-Rex who says, no futuristic poop emoji. <laughs> and yes, I see what you mean. And it's sort of... <sighs> Look, man, there's a lot of us that, uh, I guess in that 18 to, well, just really 18 up range. And we remember GTA for what it was, okay? And that's just, you know, a modern sort of well, Grand Theft Auto. But now we also have the younger generation in. And games in this generation are about futuristic stuff. I get what you're saying. It really stuffs up the balance of something like GTA Online. And personally, personally, for me, 
I don't want futuristic stuff in GTA 6, and I don't think there will be at launch at least. But going forward, as the game sort of begins to, I guess, die a little bit, they need something to bring people back. And one of the ways to do that is to appeal to a younger audience who wasn't old enough to really get the game at launch. And five years down the track from GTA 6's release, they might want to appeal to the younger audience by adding futuristic stuff in again. It's just, unfortunately, how it works. But yes, I'm with you. I don't want it in GTA 6, so that is a really good suggestion, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, we have FBI Eli, and I really hope you don't work for the FBI. Are you? FBI, open up! Oh, shit. Anyway, Eli says he wants story mode DLCs after a year or two of the game's launch. And yeah, can we talk about this for a second? Why are there no story mode DLCs in GTA 5? GTA 5 was one of the best stories I've ever played and to see no elaboration on that sucks. But unfortunately, the answer to why there isn't any in GTA 5 is because online is the way to make money. Nowadays, you've got microtransactions in online, that's the wave now, that's what everyone does, everyone plays online games. And unfortunately, from Rockstar and Take-Two's point of view, who develop and publish the game, story mode DLCs just don't print as many dollar signs as online DLC does. But if you and I, if all of us, can create enough uproar that we want story DLC, I think we might get it in GTA 6. Because a lot of people weren't happy that there wasn't any in GTA 5. So definitely another really good suggestion, and man, I hope it happens. Alright, Meme Dream Team says, Being able to share cash without any restrictions to our friends. Um, yes, okay, I agree again, like, I definitely want to be able to, for example, give money to my friends instead of watching them, you know, bang their head against the wall, just constantly grinding and grinding and grinding, instead of having fun. The only problem with that, though, is, if I'm not mistaken, at launch, that's how it was in GTA 5. But people with mods on, on consoles and whatnot, they would just give everyone millions and millions of dollars. I, I think I received like 500 million bucks. It was, it was crazy. And obviously, if that happens again, that can completely destroy the balance of GTA Online. Not to mention the effect that that would have on something like shark card sales. So look, I'll say this. All right, I definitely want that to be in GTA 6. But the reality is it can only happen if there's no way for modders to give themselves more money. So that's a really good suggestion and I hope it does happen, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's a touchy subject, let's just say that. Next up we got Stoned Nappy who says, for the car guys of GTA, more car customization and more detail to the cars, no more pixelated exhaust pipes, interiors and engine bays, different engine sounds, when swapping the engines and the ability to have manual transmission, you turn signals and car washes, of course. And yeah, man, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. That's pretty much perfect of what we want from cars in GTA 6. Because there is a really big car community in GTA 5, and honestly, the car customization isn't great compared to other car games. And I'm not a massive car guy myself, but here's the thing, all right? I play Rocket League sometimes, and if Rocket League allows you to change your engine sound, I don't see why GTA doesn't already have that in GTA 5. But anyway, really good suggestion, and I think, yeah, we'll pretty much definitely see that in GTA 6. Alright, Dale Jackson says, More elaborate heists both on and offline. Loved how GTA 5 interweaves different playable story characters. Yeah, I don't want to say GTA online heists were like disappointing. I guess they're disappointing now because of how irrelevant they are unless you're doing the Bogdan glitch. But as for the actual heists, like, yeah, they're okay. They're, they're pretty good. But in GTA 6, I would definitely hope to see, like you said, more elaborate heists. I'd also like to see a bit more freedom in the way you approach different situations. Sort of like maybe a payday sort of style approach where you can really approach it the way you want, instead of the objective telling you to go here, shoot that camera, rob this money, <laughs> what am I saying? But yeah, dude, if heists do come back for GTA 6, I can't wait, and I really hope we do see these changes. Maybe even more players in heists, I'm just gonna throw that out there. What if you had an eight player heist or a six player heist? That would be really cool. It'd probably be a lot harder, cause people would die. <laughs> But yeah, it would be a hell of a lot of fun, so good suggestion again. Let's go through a couple more. Spoderman says, no incentive for griefing. 
And again, I think you're exactly right. I don't know why it encourages people to grief. I've touched on that a lot already. Like, I don't want to just talk about griefers only on this channel. But yes, you are right. I think it's stupid. Please take it out of GTA 6. We've got Stuart Plays, who says, an option to add favorite contacts so you don't have to click through them all. And again, yes, I, it's so annoying. Like, I don't know why they haven't already done this. At launch, there weren't that many contacts. I don't know how many of you guys played at launch, but now it's just all over the place. And yeah, when you're trying to like fly a heli or <laughs> I don't know, you're in a race or something, you're trying to flick through the contacts on your phone, it pretty much always ends badly. So yeah, I'd, I'd also kind of just expect to see a lot of HUD changes in GTA 6 to make it a lot more player friendly. So yeah, definitely something I think we'll see. All right, so that'll do it for the suggestions. You guys, that was awesome. I think we went more in depth. Instead of just like basic stuff, we want to see actual like gameplay and whatnot. That was good. Good list, guys. Awesome stuff. But before you click off and go to watch another video, I just want to talk to you guys for a bit. I remember like five years ago when for the first time a YouTuber put my comment in their videos. Or you know what it feels like when a streamer gives you a shout out or something. It's cool, and I want to get you guys a lot more involved in this channel going forward. So like you saw at the start of the video, if you have any funny or epic clips that you want to feature in like a future compilation funny moment sort of video, I'll leave a link as the pinned comment for like a form where you can go submit your clips. Because yeah, like I said, it's really fun getting you guys involved, and it sort of just builds the community even more. So if you do have a clip, Definitely send it in and you might feature in a future video. I don't know, maybe in a few weeks or a month or something. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you have any more suggestions for a wish list, leave them in the comment below. And we're going to start something new. We're going to start a question of the day. And whoever has one of the best answers to the question of the day will feature just before this segment in the next video. And on the topic of GTA 6, I want to ask what feature that's in GTA 5 right now do you want removed in GTA 6? So make sure to comment that below. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.